Today on the Canadian Arcade, we're going to show you how to punch nice clean holes into a metal panel. Probably one of my least favorite things to do in this hobby is work with metal control panels. One of the things that drives me up the wall is trying to cut clean and accurate holes for buttons and joysticks. This is especially important when you have to match buttonholes for artwork. Sometimes you only have a single shot to get it right. Usually using a drill and some sort of Forstner bit, you're left with a sharp barb, a warped hole, or some other form of damage to the panel. The best way I've found to get clean and accurate holes is with a metal knockout punch set. They come in a variety of sizes for both buttons or joysticks and can be found in most places that you buy your tools. There are three main parts to a knockout punch. The draw stud, die, and the punch itself. Some of the tools that we're going to need for this are something to measure the hole placement, a good marker, an appropriate size of knockout punch, a couple drill bits, making sure that the larger one is at least as big as the draw stud, an electric drill, and some form of wrench. The first step is to find the exact center of where you want to drill the hole and mark it with a pen. The more exact you are, the better. Next, I like to use a small drill bit to pilot a divot into the metal so that the larger bit we'll use to drill the draw stud hole doesn't wander. Once you're happy with the hole location, drill through the panel using the larger bit. Make sure you have a decently charged battery in the drill. For this buttonhole, we'll use a 1 18th punch. Place the draw stud into the die and put it into the hole. Screw the punch to the back of the draw stud to at least finger tight. This will define the edge of the hole we're going to cut. Using the wrench, tighten the punch down and watch as it slowly cuts through the metal. You can see here that the punch I'm using doesn't actually spin, it just shears right into place against the die on the other side. At the point where you hear the metal pop and the punch comes through, you're done. Simply remove the waste slug from the inside of your punch and then test it with a button. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you like what we're doing here on the Canadian Arcade, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. And if you want more from us, we post a ton of stuff on Instagram. So be sure to go ahead and check us out there as well. And until next time, thanks for watching. Oh, I guess I could just, you know, play a game. Just eviscerates that horse. You almost never see my MAME cabinet running in our videos. I built this from scratch. Link down below in the description. It's a good project.